Hi, I'm Isamar Cortez, and this is for Personality Psychology, and this is going to be a study that I did on sex differences and mate preferences. Okay, so for the past research studies and literature review, uh, the sex differences and mate preferences effect is a profound phenomenon that shows men and women to be different in their preferences of qualities in an ideal mate. So some past research studies that I have that I'm going to be mentioning here. So Evans and Braze in 2007, they have found support for the idea of these differences that they do exist and that males tend to rate physical attractiveness while women uh, have been found to rate financial stability more highly. Um, in another study with Eastwick and uh, Frankel in 2008, they did a speed dating with participants and they found that there was no uh, sex differences in regards to physical attractiveness, um, in good earning prospects, and in personality. Um, and those personality traits. So my study uh, will show some of my results, but I'm going to be examining more um, traits. So, and then for uh, Byrne and Douglas in 2002, they found that men value a physical attractiveness more than women. Um, so my study will show and compare different um, groups and that being males and females on how they rate physical um, attractiveness and um, the different results that I found along with this and examining um, other traits. So for the methods, um, for the respondents, I had uh, 24 females, 20 males. Uh, for the demographics, um, that I have here, I have uh, race and ethnicity. So um, out of the total respondents, 29 of them were Hispanic, Latino, five were white, uh, Caucasian, two were Asian Pacific Islander, and one was African American. For the educational uh, level, uh, one person had less than a high school. Um, 18 had high school, um, at least their high school or GED. Uh, six people had their associate's degree and 17 uh, with bachelor's degrees and two with master's or doctoral degrees. So for the methods, so for this procedure, uh, the survey was created at the NIU Qualtrics and it was for the main purposes and each question consisted of, and these are the different traits that um, I wanted to look into. So it was career prospects, making a lot of money, nice and kind, physical attractiveness, and dependable, trustworthy. So the way that I got the respondents were through base, uh, most likely um, it was social media. Um, it was a convenience sample. So um, I posted it on Facebook. I had people take it that way. I posted it on Snapchat, which is another social prep platform that I got people to take the survey that way. And lastly, what I did was for uh, just personal phone use. So um, by that, I mean just texting some friends saying, hey, you know, whenever you have time, um, please take this survey. And I got some respondents uh, through that. So um, the survey started off with consent. They needed to be 18 years of age or older. And for each trait that I mentioned before, they were uh, they were supposed to rate that trait on a Likert scale and the importance of that rate for them in their long-term ideal partner. So one would have is uh, not important at all and nine was extremely important. And there was also after those questions, demographics were asked. So that would have been sex, education, gender, age, and the race and um, or ethnicity. And then at the end of the survey, um, we did uh, some debriefing there. So the, for the results of this survey for the sex and differences in my preferences, um, the what came out to be significant was making a lot of money. So you can look at the p-value and you can see it's very close to zero, which makes it very significant. It's at 0 0.003. And 
if we look at the standard deviations and the means for males and females, especially at the means, you can really, um, if we go all the way down to the bottom here and make, and you can see the trait of making a lot of money, you can see the difference in the means um, for males and females. So for the females, they had a 5.54. And for males, they had a 3.75. So you can tell right away that females, um, this trait was highly important to them uh, rather than males. And then here, again, I have the averages and means of each condition, and I have them in a graph for you. So you can, so it could be easier uh, to visualize um, instead of just looking at the numbers. So you can see trust and nice, those traits are very very close. Um, same with attractiveness and um, career prospects. They're very um, almost like head to head there. But when you look at the trait of making a lot of money, you can see that there is a big difference uh, between males and females. And that's the one that um, became very significant. So due to the circumstances, um, we can't do our conceptual rep replications with everything that's going on. Um, but ideally, I did want to um, look at other new different mate preferences and new uh, characteristics um, for people and see how important that would be for their um, ideal mate. So, um, for example, I wanted to look at religion preference. Would that play a big, important role um, on picking a mate? Um, another thing that's not so um, important, but just to see if that would make a, a big difference is, you know, a favorite color or another big, big one is political preference and then height and age um, to see if any of those char characteristics would play a big role on importance of picking a mate. And these, again, would be using the, the Likert scale um, from ranging one, not important at all, to nine, very important.